Hello everyone, welcome to this episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at the creek to do a one versus one challenge that a lot of you guys asked for back when I done the video on these power bait, power honey worms. A lot of you guys said that you thought that the power honey worm was a really big contender to compete against the trout magnet. As you guys know, I love to fish a trout magnet rig and I love to put different things on them. And as we found out in that last video, I will link that video below. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and go watch that. But in our last video, we noticed that these power honey worms fished excellently on a trout magnet jig head hook. So today we're going to put these two side by side, one versus one, and see if the power honey worm will outfish the trout magnet on its own rig. So stay tuned, stick around, and let's have some fun. Today's video, I'm going to be using my Lou's Mock Pearl Speed Stick combo here. We've got some eight pound, 100% fluorocarbon. And we're going to be using our little trout magnet jig hooks and trout magnet floats. So that's pretty much all we've got for our gear today. So without any further ado, let's get started. There's one on the old trial magnet. Oh, jumper. Get him in the neck. Gorgeous little fish hooked right on top of the head. Absolute gorgeous little fish. Oh, he popped off right in the net there. Heck yeah. Let's let him go. There he goes. Heck yeah. Got him on. That old honey worm. That's fish number one for the honey worm of the morning. Heck yeah. Gorgeous little rainbow. Come down. Heck yeah, let's let her go. So I guess we'll switch back to a trout magnet and fish it around for a little bit. But so far they're one and one and pretty equally matched. Drop our little trout magnet right in there. There he is, big and nice one, guys. Oh yeah, nice brown. Oh, jumper. He liked that black and green magnet. Yes, he did. Oh, got him in the net. Heck yeah, look at that one, guys. A trout magnet right in the side of his jaw there. Got a male here with a mouth full of teeth. Oh, got it around his fin. Let's see if we can get him while he's got his jaw like that. There we go. Gorgeous fish there, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's let this one go. Heck yeah. So, so far that's two on that black and green. It's absolutely kicking butt. So we'll go ahead and pop on that honey worm one more time. We'll drift through here again and try to make it two to two. Just take that off there. Drop him right in there. 
I'll grab out our old honey worm here and we'll rig him up the same way just like so Oh, there he was, dadgummit. Mm. Hit that thing like a ton of bricks. It's jerked too soon. Got him on. Heck yeah, he liked that honey worm. Beautiful little rainbow here. All right. Heck yeah. So that pretty much ties it up. Calm down, little buddy. I'll tell you, these little rainbows have got a lot of fight in them this morning. There we go. Got him off. Heck yeah. Let's let him go. Gorgeous little fish. All right. Let's just go on ahead and pop on that black and green trout magnet and continue this experiment. So far, I would say the black and green trout magnet's getting a little bit more attention more quickly. But they are both getting bit and they're both catching fish. So we'll continue the experiment a little while longer and just see how it goes. We freaking smoked it. Well, guys, I will tell you, I just caught one on this black and green just a moment ago with the camera off on the very first cast after re-rigging this thing. But for the sake of the video, we will not count that one towards our total. And we'll just continue fishing. They are still biting them. Biting both of them really well. There he is. Heck yeah. Teeny tiny little whippersnapper. But we'll take him. Gorgeous little rainbow there. Let's dampen the net. Just to take good care of this little guy. Oh, hook popped right out. That may be a little wild trout there. He may have been hatched into this creek himself. Let's let him go. All right, so the black and green is absolutely putting in work as we kind of expected. Let's go on ahead and hop in here. We'll grab us out one more honey worm. And we'll continue this experiment just a little while longer, but I will say that as of right now, they are operating on a really equal playing field. Um, these are getting just as many bites as the trout magnets and vice versa. 
um, catching and missing just about as many fish. So it's safe to say that if you're going to be fishing the trout magnet rig, you should probably have a jar of honeyworms in your pocket to go on there with it. But let's continue this experiment and we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. Short striking that thing. There we go. We got him at time. Gorgeous little rainbow. Thank you. Little old trout magnets all beat up, but it might have one more in it. There he is. An angry little fella. Oh, popped right on out in the net. Heck yeah, black and green magnet. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little one versus one video. Had a lot of fun making it. I will say that I think the winner for today is going to be the trout magnet. I just got a few more bites on it. We caught a slightly bigger fish on it and it just seemed to be a little more effective. But the power honeyworm is a really nice little additive to use while you're out trout magnet fishing. It's scented, it looks like a little bug, and the trout absolutely love it. And I feel like it, it contributed to help us catch a few extra fish on the video today. We fished them until they just completely quit biting, and we had a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these you think is the best, or which one is your favorite. Get out if you can, guys, and do some fishing, and have some fun. Until next time, be safe, and tight lines. Another one on the trout magnet rig. Heck yeah. Gorgeous little fish. Heck yeah.